and this is oh what a nail as Jonathan Bostick gets separated Mike Willie from the football all right, you already know what it is, fourth quarter boy sports. It's me, the illustrious one, Professor Lake, in the building, fresh out the kitchen once again. And uh, today we're going to talk about the Chicago Bears wide receiver group. A very talented group, man. Uh, it's definitely something a lot of fans aren't used to. Uh, the Bears are known for having a good running attack and not having a pass in the game and playing great defense and you know, playing special teams to pull out games. But ever since we got Matt Nagy, you know, and uh, Ryan Pace in the building, uh, they've been able to infuse this offense with good talent at the specialty positions. And uh, like I said before, we're going to talk about the wide receivers today. So before we get into it, you know what I do right around this time. It's fourth quarter boys sports. I'm the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 chill. Be a fourth quarter boy for life. Hit that notification bell for me, dog. All right, let's jump right into it. So last season, we got a couple new receivers. Allen Robinson, uh, Anthony Miller is the guy we drafted, and uh, Taylor Gabriel, along with uh, Javon Wims, another guy that we drafted uh, last year. So when you talk about a guy like Allen Robinson, his pro football focus ranking is uh, 28th overall, and uh, he's ranking like about the 77th percentile, making him above average uh, compared to his contemporaries. Last year, he had 55 receptions for 754 yards, 13.7 yards per catch, and four touchdowns. You know, it doesn't really look like he had glaring numbers, but uh, neither do any of the other receivers. I want to say that Tariq Cohen was our leading receiver last year. Again, Allen Robinson was able to make some big plays off of some of the better cornerbacks in the league. Uh, he's good when you give him a chance to throw 50-50 balls. And maybe his stats could have been a little bit better uh, had Mitchell Trubisky been on target for a couple of those throws. Uh, but definitely, I'm looking forward to see how Allen Robinson uh, is going to be in his second season in Matt Nagy's system. You know, there were a couple of interviews that he did, and he did say that, you know, the offense is progressing and that uh, just the fact that he's able to practice during this part of the season uh, is going to be something positive for his performance during the football season. So, you know, I still think that Allen Robinson is going to be a starter. Is his replacement on our team? I'm not sure. The other receiver that we picked up out of free agency last season uh, we got him from the Atlanta Falcons. It's Taylor Gabriel. Now, he had 67 receptions last year for 688 yards, uh, about 10 yards per catch, and he had two touchdowns. Here's a guy that I thought would have been a lot better in the touchdown category. Again, I think that uh, the maturity of Mitchell Trubisky has a lot to do with the production of our wide receivers uh, last season. But he's going to be another guy uh, that's going to be able to take the top off of defense and, uh, you know, score some touchdowns for us. I also think that he'll be used in the slot a little bit as well. Now, the draft pick that we got last year in the second round out of Memphis, Anthony Miller, uh, he's a guy, man. He shows that he's a tough guy. He's willing to play through injuries. I mean, you know, they say that his shoulder popped out the socket about five to six times last year. He went on the sideline, popped it in, kept on playing. And uh, that says a lot about his football character. And uh, just for guys being able to rely on him uh, to fight through some nagging injuries, it's a breath of fresh air. You don't see that a lot lately. A lot of guys take care of their bodies. And, uh, you know, he knew what was at hand last season. Now, putting his football character to the side, uh, last season as a rookie, he caught 33 passes for 423 yards, 12.8 yards a catch. And again, this is a guy that Matt Nagy, uh, can put in the slot. He could also put on the outside. So I think that with another offseason under his belt, another year under his belt, uh, Anthony Miller is going to blossom next season. Again, you know, health has a lot to do with these guys' careers. If he could stay on the field for 16 games, I could only imagine what his numbers are going to look like at the end of the season. Now, last year, the Chicago Bears uh, suited up four receivers, I believe, uh, maybe five. I think the fourth wide receiver that's going to be you know, integral in the Chicago Bears offense 
uh, is going to be Cordero Patterson, a free agent out of New England. Now, Cordero Patterson last season caught 21 passes for 247 yards, 11 yards per catch, uh, three touchdown receptions, one rushing touchdown, 42 rushes for 228 yards. So what do I have to say about Cordero Patterson? Uh, he's a guy that's been able to maintain his health. He's been able to play a lot of different positions. Uh, definitely going to be a special teams threat. And I'm very curious to see what Matt Nagy does uh, to, you know, carve him out a niche. So we have Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller, Taylor Gabriel, and now we have Cordero Patterson taking on that Josh Bellamy role at the uh, fourth wideout position. So let's talk about Javon Wims. I think he's a guy that Matt Nagy is really curious about. I don't think he really wants to crown him as a guy for the future, but definitely a player with a lot of upside, uh, nice athletic ability, uh, good size on the outside, possibly a replacement for Allen Robinson, but maybe uh, next season or the year after that. But I'd like to see what Javon Wims uh, can do, you know, giving Allen Robinson a breather from time to time. What will increase his uh, chances of making the squad, again, is being able to play special teams. So I don't know what type of role they have for him on special teams, but uh, that's definitely something that's going to solidify him a spot on the Chicago Bears. The athletics alone, um, what we've seen on tape and what he does in practice is really going to say a lot about where Javon Wims ends uh, this season coming up. I do have him as being one of the players that suits up on Sunday. Now, Riley Ridley, uh, I have him making the team as well as a sixth wide receiver. Uh, he can run routes well. He has played against good competition in college. And, you know, from all reports, it seems like he's impressing at Bears training camps. And I look for him to make the team as well. Will he be able to be a gunner on special teams? I'm not sure. I'm thinking that the Chicago Bears are going to have to look in other positions uh, to find solid special teams players. But uh, with Matt Nagy wanting to throw the ball a lot, I think at least they need to carry six receivers on the active roster. So Allen Robinson, Anthony Miller, Taylor Gabriel, Cordero Patterson, Riley Ridley, and Javon Wims rounds out the six active wide receivers that make the Chicago Bears roster. There's a handful of other wide receivers uh, that are currently on the Bears roster. Uh, Tanner Gentry is a guy that's been with the Bears roster for the last two seasons, maybe three. I think that this season, Tanner Gentry will get cut for sure. A couple of new faces that we have in camp, uh, Emmanuel Hall, I think he has a, a good chance of making the practice squad. Uh, Marvin Hall, He's another player that comes from Atlanta. I think that they're trying to find out uh, how is he compared to Taylor Gabriel. I don't think that he'll make the active roster. He might get offered a uh, practice squad uh, contract, but I'm not sure that he'll accept that. Uh, Thomas Ives, uh, he's a wide receiver, 50-50 ball catcher. Average speed, I didn't really see his speed on tape. So if he has a really low 40 time, it just didn't appear that way uh, when I watched his tape. He has pretty decent hands, but again, you know, coming from the Ivy League, uh, the poor competition that he was up against, you know, he, he will really be tested uh, in these training camps uh, to find out how far his talent will take him. In my opinion, I think Thomas Ives gets cut as well. Uh, Taquan Mizell Sr., now he's a guy that played at running back. He came from the Ravens. He played at running back for the Chicago Bears. And this year, this season, uh, they decided to move him to wide receiver. I've never really been too high on Taekwon Mizell. Um, I think this is the last season for him as well. I think that he will get cut. The last wide receiver that I want to talk about, uh, he comes from the Canadian League. Uh, he has size. You know, he's a good 50-50 ball catcher. Uh, and he has nice agility. I'm not sure what his 40 time is or how fast he is. He looks pretty fast and athletic to me. Uh, but he's incredibly agile for a guy of his height and size. Uh, Jordan Williams Lambert, uh, I definitely think will make the practice squad for the Chicago Bears. Uh, athletically, I think that he's just better than Thomas Ives. Um, you know, he plays a position of wide receiver. And I think that he's just going to be able to outwork Taekwon Mazzell. Uh, just size-wise and athletic ability and knowing how to run routes. But that pretty much wraps things up. So again, I got Allen Robinson, 
uh, Anthony Miller, Taylor Gabriel, Cordero Patterson, Javon Wims, and Riley Ridley uh, making the active roster as wide receivers. Uh, practice squad guys, again, I'll have uh, Emmanuel Hall and Jordan Williams Lambert uh, out the Canadian League. And uh, that's all we got right there, man. I think there's going to be a couple cuts. I think there's going to be a contract offered to Marvin Hall. I don't think he'll accept it. Uh, but I don't think that his uh, his playmaking ability and what he's going to show in the OTAs will really warrant a one-year contract, especially when you got some talent on your practice squad that'll be a lot cheaper. So tell me what you think. You know, these are the wide receivers that are in camp. If you're familiar with some of these players, uh, leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know what you know about some of these guys. Tell me who you think will make the active roster as a wide receiver uh, for the Chicago Bears during this 2019-2020 season. All right. So with that in mind, we're going to wrap it up. You know what I do right around this time. It is fourth quarter, boy sports. I'm the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Be a fourth quarter boy for life. Hit that notification bell for me. Holla at your boy. Let me know what you think. Let's get the dialogue popping, man. I'm out. Yes. And this is, oh, what a nail! As Jonathan Bostic just separated Mike Willie from the football.